So I wanted to show how microclimates work in my outdoor terraria. It's a 55 degree day, but it's sunny, as you can see. And we'll just take some readings here, just kind of for fun, and see what kind of temperatures come up. So here's the concrete wall reading at uh, 90s to 100. We found something there that was 101. Here's this rock, 86. This one over here is 89. Uh, let's see, can't really see that one. There we go, 92. And let's see some lizards here. This lizard sitting on this rock is the rock itself is about a 99 degrees, 96. The lizard is about 100. 306. I might be getting a little bit of the rock. 107. Check that lizard again. 102. Okay. And over here we've got this guy. Needs reading. Let's see. There, around 100, 101, maybe 104 parts of him in there in the sun. It's interesting because this changes from uh, moment to moment a little bit. I think depending on how hot the sun is or how, how bright the sunlight is. We've got a little bit of clouds up in the, in the sky above us there. In the shade back here, on the sand we're getting 75 it looks like. Over here in this uh, other part of the tram, again about 74, 75 back in here. Here's one poking it, whoops. <laughs> it saw me move the camera towards it and retreated her little head back into her, her place back there. But let's see if we can find her in there. I'll try to adjust the focus. Yeah, maybe she snuck back into her hole. No, she's in there. There she is, do you see her nose? There she comes. So they build these little holes, or make these little holes that they live in in the, in the rocks. And underneath. lizards are down against the rock like this so they can absorb heat from the rock more and there's less air that goes around their bodies to, that cools them so they can warm up a little bit better against the surface of the rock when they flatten out like that they'll sit back up if once they uh, warm up enough or once if there's not a lot of cold air blowing around like there is today